How many plaintiffs do you have? 634. In the movie Erin Brockovich, Julia Roberts play a California woman on a mission against a local company accused of leaking the metal chromium-6 into groundwater, allegedly causing cancer in 600 people. You know, it would probably be easiest. The movie was based on a real story. The more than $300 million settlement was one of the largest ever in the United States. Fifteen years later, test results by an environmental group produced shocking results about tap water across the country. In the study by the Environmental Working Group, 31 out of 35 cities show various levels of chromium-6, considered a carcinogen, in drinking water. Olga Naidenko is the senior scientist at the Environmental Working Group. Our study uh, was a snapshot which demonstrated that chromium uh, pollution in drinking water is actually widespread across the United States. Washington was nine times higher than what California state scientists think is safe. The Washington Aqueduct, owned and operated by the U.S. government, provides potable water for a million people in the Washington, D.C. region. Thomas Jacobus is general manager. He says the aqueduct did not test specifically for chromium-6, but once the tests were done, he says the levels were low. The cost to do to remove chromium to a level, say, 0.05 parts per billion, would be staggering. And the question is, is that practical and is it necessary? The aqueduct runs tests for bacteria and contaminants. It regularly checks for 22 metals, but not chromium. Jacobos says he is confident the water is safe. Chromium-6 is a naturally occurring metal. Chromium pollution most commonly comes from mining and other industrial processes. It has been released into water because industries didn't care. They didn't do it on purpose, but for example, if they were storing industrial wastewater in unlined pools, basically just dumping it outside, that was how it often ended up in water. Naidenko says 15 years after the California case, the Environmental Working Group found similar levels of chromium-6 in other parts of the country. The highest sample in our study, it was actually within the range of what Ms. Brokovich detected in Hinkley, California, that highly polluted area. Washington Aqueduct says much can happen as water travels to the consumer. Jacobus says all pipes and fixtures can leach metals. He says water treatment facilities were never designed to remove chemicals that are now showing up. Right now, I think it means we need to keep looking and be aware that there may be some things we don't know. Toxic chemicals are showing up in water around the world. Naidenko says in China, Greece, and Scotland, people have suffered from stomach cancers, she says, are linked to polluted water. We are not aware of studies that systematically analyzed all the other countries, but there is a lot of reports coming from individual countries finding that, in fact, chromium pollution is, unfortunately, fairly common. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has now ordered utilities around the U.S. to test for chromium-6 twice a year. EPA has also begun a review of the impact of chromium-6 to determine safe levels in drinking water. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News.